Hello, this is Aaron with iBoard Repair, and today I'm working on an iPhone 8 Plus that's in here for data recovery. It's taken a very large drop and it's no longer turning on, and the customer wants to recover the photos from it. Um, so I haven't done anything to the phone yet other than remove the screen, and I've taken my first diagnostic step, which is always to uh, take my DC power supply probes and plug them into the battery connector and pump it to boot. So let me show you what it's doing. So when I plug my probes to the battery connector here and I give it a, a prompt to boot, I get a problem that I'm pretty familiar with. Basically, it does almost nothing. So if I just kind of give it a, a small press, it will give me a little spike, as you can see up here. A little spike, a little spike, a little spike. If I hold it, it usually doesn't do very much at all. And then if I press it again, it's not doing anything. So what this uh, indicates to me, um, I believe I'm going to have a short on this motherboard. Most likely, I think it will be a NAND short, like a 3VO or 1V8. Um, or it could be one of, uh, it could even be my SD RAM that's short. Um, if it was flat zero and it didn't spike at all, I would probably suspect that's like the boost coil because uh, the phone won't give anything when, when boost is missing. Um, so yeah, let's pull this motherboard out and uh, see if I'm right about this one. Okay, so I have this motherboard out of the housing. And let's just check for shorts. Uh, I'm gonna check NAND first, just because that's kind of my first suspicion on what might be bad. Especially on like some of these older models, like the 8, um, drops can, can just cause the NAND capacitors to short, so I'm kind of hoping that's the case with this one. There we go, we got a, we got a NAND cap short, so that was very, very easy to find out, um, to kind of narrow down which one it might be. Um, I'm just gonna inject some voltage and see if I can find the heat. I'm gonna make sure, uh, I'm gonna check what line that is specifically because I'm not sure if it, that's 3VO or 1V8. That is 3VO NAND. So there's only a couple capacitors it can be. It's most likely going to be the one I, I just checked, or one of these two, or or this one over here. So I'll inject three volts into here, and uh, let's see where the heat goes. It's a very quick and easy one. I'm sure it will work once I pull this cap. that's heating up right away. Very easy to tell which one's bad. So I'll just pop this cap off. And now this line should no longer be measuring short. Nope, good measurement now. And now if I prompt this to boot, I should get a very normal looking boot sequence now. 
I'll set this to four volts first. So now when I prompt this to boot, that's a normal startup sequence. This should just kind of gradually rise. Yeah, that looks normal. So I'll grab a battery screen and a uh, charge port and let's make sure this is booting up. So we'll plug these parts in. And I expect this will boot up fine. So if you're a micro soldering tech and you do any type of board work, it's very, very beneficial to learn um, what your DC power supply is telling you. Um, if I wasn't so good at like reading the symptoms or if I didn't know what they meant, I could have spent a very long time diagnosing this board. A lot of people will see this type of problem and they'll be like, oh, it's the PMIC. Um, or, oh, it's, uh, you know, it's, it's the charging circuit, it's Hydra, or, oh, you need to do a CPU swap. Um, none of that's the case. It was very simply just a, a NAND capacitor that went bad. Um, so, yeah, this is turning on. And we're into the phone. So I'll be able to pull data from this phone. The customer is going to be very happy. And uh, I, I hope you like this video. I hope you stop by again. Thanks. Bye.